greetings and thank you for the opportunity to come your way and spend a few moments in the Word of God and pray with you. We trust that as we spend time with the Word of God, there will be truth imparted to your heart and you'll be strengthened, you'll be encouraged in your walk with God. This week, I just felt that we will take some time to talk about the marks of a minister of God. Now, uh, you may say, I'm not a preacher, I'm not a, you know, preacher or minister. Well, the Bible tells us that all of us as believers are ministers of God. We, in some way, are serving God and we represent God. So I just want to highlight these for us so that, you know, if, uh, we will be encouraged to pursue these things in our lives and say, okay, this is what I should maintain as a minister of God. The Apostle Paul is the one who wrote about the nine fruit of the Spirit. He also wrote about the nine gifts of the Spirit in 1 Corinthians 14. And what I seem to observe in 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 10 to 11, are the nine marks of a minister of God. Of course, he's, he's presenting this in reference to his own life, but I see him mention these nine things. And uh, I don't think it happened by accident that these are nine. Uh, it seems to fit in with the fruit of the Spirit, the gifts of the Spirit. And here are, there are nine marks of, of a man anointed by the Spirit. And so we want to look at each of these over the course of this week. Second Timothy chapter 3, verses 10 and 11, Paul writes, he writes to Timothy, he says, But you have carefully followed my doctrine, my manner of life, my purpose, faith, long-suffering, love, perseverance, persecutions, afflictions and uh, so he mentions these nine things that happen in his life and he says Timothy you saw all these things in me and I feel these are important the fact that the Apostle Paul will say you saw these in me and say Timothy follow that example you've carefully observed these nine so these nine marks or traits of an anointed servant of God a minister of God so we will talk about this. The first one we point out is he, first thing he mentions is, you have followed my doctrine. Doctrine means the teaching, what Paul was preaching, what Paul was teaching. So as a minister of God, our preaching, our teaching is important. We maintain the preaching and the teaching of God's word, the way God wants us to maintain. He wants us to make sure God has instructed us. And Paul encouraged Timothy and in his own ministry, the Apostle Paul ensured that he maintained sound doctrine. And he repeats this often both to Timothy and Titus. He tells them, you know, now sound doctrine, maintain sound doctrine in your preaching and in your teaching. Speak the things, Titus chapter two verse one, but as for you, speak the things which are proper or sound doctrine. So here's the first mark of an anointed man, a servant of God or woman of God, that they maintain sound doctrine. That means their teaching, the preaching, the way they handle the word of God is with reverence. They emphasize teaching the wholesome word of God. And you, as a minister of God, emphasize that in your life. The way you handle the word of God Make sure you do it with reverence, with integrity, with incorruptibility, and with sound speech that nobody can question. Let's pray. Father, we ask that you'll help us be men and women who represent you and serve you well. Help us to maintain and handle your word in a manner worthy of your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.